thanks to Natasha and Biju for all the hard work that they've put into this week. Um, thank you for all the long nights, the endless number of emails, and all the late meetings that it takes to put this together. So thank you so much. Woo! Okay. What's up, Biju? Yeah, Natasha. And I also want to give a shout out to, you know, the most passionate, the most beautiful, <coughs> and the sexiest class. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh wow. God! What? Senior? 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 Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> I want to start out talking tonight about this year's theme, Inside Out, celebrating multiracial experiences, politicizing the mixed race identity. In a lot of ways, this theme here is how I've been thinking about my own identity lately. More than any other time in my life, my time at Brown has challenged the way I think about myself and forced me to reflect on my experiences as a Japanese, Irish, and German male. This might be that world. As I continue to better, better understand who I am, I increasingly want to translate my experiences into grassroots social change which is one of the many reasons why, after I graduate, I, be I plan to become a public school teacher. Helping to solidify my personal passion for social change have been the words and the hopes of Barack Obama. I've been thinking about the possibility of Obama's presidency since the fall of my sophomore year, when I waited in line for six hours and saw him speak in this very room in front of a packed Solomon. <laughs> but before I talk more about Barack, let me rewind a bit. I have to admit the reasons why I first came to Brown are different from the reasons why I've come to Lubbock. My high school self came to Brown because of the new curriculum, its liberal reputation, the fun-loving student body, and the location away from home. As a senior, my love for this university can be found in two buildings on this campus, the Third World Center and the Square Center for Community Service. While I would love to spend tonight talking about how I see the Square Center as a unique way to translate and the empowerment of TWC into community action, tonight I'll be talking about my home in the TWC. Flashback. It's the summer of 2005, <laughs> the summer before my freshman year of college. TWCP turned my world upside down. The energizing, the step-in, step-out circles, the intense discussions, and the high emotions of those four days left me feeling both confused and fired up for my time at Brown. One of the biggest personal epiphanies that came out of TWCP was the idea that there was such a thing as multiraciality, an entire movement behind the word multiracial. I still remember splitting up into different racial groups during the racism workshop and being pleasantly surprised that there was a multiracial option. When other students talked about their fusion foods, I enjoy reminiscing about eating mochi on Japanese New Year and corned beef and cabbage on St. Patrick's Day. I felt validated in expressing my frustration and having to always choose one race or the other. Since the first weeks of my freshman year, I've been attending meetings for BOMB, the Brown Organization for Multiracial and Biracial Students. Woo. Yeah, BOMB. <laughs> uh, some of my closest friendships at Brown were sparked from these meetings as we unpacked our multiracial identity. Another thing that I share with many multiracial students, especially those who are part white, is the question of legitimacy. Even though the TWC was always a place where I felt comfortable, there were often moments when I felt that my multiracial experience differed from the experience of other students of color. I questioned whether I had experienced racism or if my white heritage allowed me to pass. I questioned whether my class background granted me privileges that I could not even see and separated me from the other students. At times, I agonized over whether I belonged to the TWC. I now see this self-questioning as an integral part of my identity formation. The power of identity comes from this very tenuous balance between affirmation and rejection. Questioning my identity only brought me deeper into the folds of the TWC, which allowed me to further re-examine myself. Being a minority peer counselor friend and a programmer for Multiracial Identity Week last year, were two of the most meaningful and powerful things that I've done during not only my time at Brown, but my entire life. Last spring, during the heat of the presidential primaries, I had the pleasure of reading Barack Obama's autobiography, Dreams of My Father. 
It was reading his autobiography at a time when so many conflicting things were being said about him and his race that I came to identify with him so strongly. His experiences in college and his involvement in the South African divestment campaign spoke to me. Having just come off organizing a successful multiracial identity week myself, the stories of Barack bringing speakers to campus, printing up flyers, and delivering speeches made me connect to him. After reading this, I thought to myself, hey, I can totally relate to this. Barack Obama was a programmer too when he was in college. <laughs> in his autobiography, Barack writes, at night in the dorms, we discussed neo-colonial, neo-colonialism, France Fanon, Eurocentrism, and patriarchy. During his undergrad year, Barack was having the same conversations that we have every day in the GOBC about the isms and solidarity with the third world. If Barack were a student at Brown right now, he would have been a minority peer counselor, he would have been a programmer at the GWC, and he would be in this audience tonight. Yeah! <laughs> The experience and self-questioning that we have in college define the people we become in life and the work that we choose to do. As I look forward to becoming a teacher and entering a public school classroom, I know that again and again I will be drawing from my own experiences within the TWC to help young people better understand their own identities and in them find empowerment and community. Thank you all for listening to, to me tonight, and please get out to vote on November 4th. Woo!